welcome back to crafty crochet castle in this video i'm gonna show you the pattern to crochet the camel for our nativity set this pattern is an intermediate pattern and i hope you will crochet this along with me to crochet the camel i'm using worsted weight yarn in tan and these two colors are for the back cloth and this is up to your choice i'm using 4.5 mm crochet hook scissors yarn needle stitch markers for the eyes i'm using safety eyes here and for the mouth i'm using a black yarn and needle we would need some polyfill stuffing as well the details are in the description box below now let us crochet the ears for the ears i'll start off with a magic circle followed by a single crochet another single crochet two half double crochets two more single crochets inside this ring I am not going to join over here but I'm gonna finish off leaving a long tail make sure to crochet one more now let us crochet the head with my tan yarn i'll do a magic circle followed by eight single crochet inside this ring this is my round one for the pattern of the head we'll be working in rounds and i'm not going to join at the end of each round For round two, I'll do two single crochet in my next stitch, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern for the entire round. The pattern is two single crochet in my next stitch, followed by one single crochet in my next stitch. This round will have a total of 12 single crochet. I'll be using a stitch marker to mark the end of each round. For round 3, I'll do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 12 single crochet as well. For round 4, I'll do 2 single crochet in my next stitch followed by 1 single crochet in the next 3 stitches. This round will have a total of 15 single crochet and I'll be repeating this pattern for this entire round. The pattern is 2 single crochet in my next stitch followed by 1 single crochet in the next 3 stitches. For round 5, I will do 1 single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 15 single crochet as well. For round 6, I'll do 2 single crochet in my next stitch, followed by 1 single crochet in the next 4 stitches. This will be the repeat pattern for the round. And this round will have a total of 18 single crochet.
for the next two rounds that is for round seven and round eight i'll be following the same pattern the pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around each round will have a total of 18 single crochet and i'll meet you after i complete two rounds for round 9, I'll do single crochet decrease first, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. This round will have a total of 12 stitches and I'll be repeating the pattern for the round. The repeat pattern is single crochet together, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. This time I'm going to put a pause to the project and we can attach eyes, embroider mouth and ears to the project. I'm using safety eyes here. I'll attach it between round 6 and round 7 with 4 stitches apart approximately. Next we can embroider the mouth details. For that I'm using this black yarn and yarn needle and I'm going to embroider Y shaped mouth over here. Next we can attach the ears between round 8 and 9. Before that I'm going to pinch this ear like this and attach it. Make sure to attach the other ear above the other eye. After attaching the ear, stuff the head with some polyfill stuffing. Now let's work on the last round of the head which is round 10. For this round I will do single crochet decrease or single crochet 2 together 6 times. This round will have a total of 6 stitches. At this point, I'm going to finish off over here leaving a long tail. Now let us close the opening on the head. To close the opening, I'm going to thread the long tail in a yarn needle and I'm going to run it across the front loops in the remaining stitches of the last round. I'm going to pull it tight to close the opening and we can weave the tail in. There we have completed the head of our camel. Now let us crochet the body and neck of the camel. For that I'm taking my same tan yarn. I'll do a magic circle followed by eight single crochet inside this ring. This is my round one and this round will have a total of eight single crochet. For the pattern of the body and the neck we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it. Now for round two I will do two single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 16 single crochet. For round 3, I'll do 2 single crochet in my next stitch, followed by 1 single crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern for the entire round and this round will have a total of 24 single crochet. For round 4, I'll do 1 single crochet in every stitch around. This round will also have a total of 24 single crochet.
for round five i'll do two single crochet in my next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches i'll be repeating this pattern throughout the round and this round will have a total of 32 single crochet For the next two rounds, that is for round 6 and round 7, I'll be following the same pattern. The pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around. Each round will have a total of 32 single crochet and I'll meet you after I complete round 7. For round 8, I will do one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. followed by two single crochet in the next six stitches followed by one single crochet in the next 13 stitches We'll be beginning to form our hump here. For round nine, I will do one single crochet in the next 16 stitches. followed by two single crochet in the next six stitches. followed by one single crochet in the remaining 16 stitches. For round 10, I'll do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 44 single crochet and I'll meet you after I complete round 10. For round 11, I will do one single crochet in the next 16 stitches.
followed by single crochet decrease or single crochet together six times followed by one single crochet in the next 16 stitches. This round will have a total of 38 stitches. For round 12, I'll do one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. followed by a single crochet decrease six times followed by one single crochet in the next 13 stitches this round will have a total of 32 stitches So there the hump of the camel is formed here. Now for the next two rounds that is round 13 and 14 I'll be following the same pattern. The pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around. Each round will have a total of 32 single crochet and I'll meet you after I complete round 14. For round 15 I'll do single crochet decrease first followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. I'll be repeating this pattern for the entire round and this round will have a total of 24 stitches. For round 16, I'll do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will also have a total of 24 single crochet and I'll meet you after I complete round 16. For round 17, I'll do single crochet decrease first followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern for this round and this round will have a total of 16 stitches.
now we'll be down to the last round in the body which is round 18 in this round i'll do a single crochet decrease eight times This time I'm gonna put a pause to the project and stuff our body with polyfill stuffing. Make sure to stuff the hump as well. Now let us continue working on our neck and this is my round 19. For round 19 I'll do a double crochet in the next two stitches. Followed by a half double crochet in the next stitch. A single crochet in the next three stitches followed by a half double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in my next stitch this round would have a total of eight stitches I'll be repeating round 19 one more time and this would be round 20 I would do a double crochet in the next two stitches Followed by a half double crochet, a single crochet in the next three stitches. Followed by a half double crochet and a double crochet. For round 22, I'll do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round would have a total of 8 single crochet. For round 22, I'll do a half double crochet in my next two stitches, followed by a single crochet in the next six stitches. For the next two rounds, that is round 23 and 24, I'll be doing one single crochet in every stitch around. Each round would have a total of eight single crochet. For the last round in this neck, I'll be working only on the forward loops. I will do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will also have a total of 8 stitches. At the end of this round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch in my next stitch and I'm going to leave a long tail and finish it off. Now we can stuff this neck with some polyfill stuffing. Here we have completed the body and the neck of our camel. Now let us crochet the legs. With tan yarn, I'll do a magic circle followed by eight single crochet inside this ring. This is my round one. For the pattern of the legs, we'll be working in round and I'm not going to join at the end of each round. For round 2, I'll do 2 single crochet in my next stitch, 
followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. This round will have a total of 12 single crochet. I'm going to use a stitch marker here to mark the end of each round. For round 3, I'll do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will also have a total of 12 single crochet. For round 4, I'll do single crochet together first, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. This round will have a total of 8 stitches. For the next 6 rounds, that is from round 5 to round 10, I'll be following the same pattern. The pattern is 1 single crochet in every stitch around. Each round will have a total of 8 single crochet. And I'll meet you after I complete round 10. At the end of round 10, our leg looks like this. Now I'm going to join with a slip stitch in the, my next stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail we'll be using this tail to sew the leg onto the body so make sure it is long enough and then you can stuff this up with some polyfill stuffing make sure to crochet a total of four legs now let us crochet the back cloth for that i'm using the color as that of the dress of the wise men if you're just crocheting one camel for the nativity set, you can crochet it in any color. For round one, I'll do a magic circle followed by eight single crochet inside this ring. For the pattern of the back cloth, we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round. Now for round two, I'll do two single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 16 single crochet. For round 3, I will do 2 single crochet in my next stitch, followed by 1 single crochet in the next stitch. I will be repeating this pattern for this entire round. The pattern is 2 single crochet in my next stitch, followed by 1 single crochet in the next stitch. This round will have a total of 24 single crochet. For round 4, I'll work 1 single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 24 single crochet as well.
At this point, I'm going to change my yarn to gold. For round 5, I will do 2 half double crochet worked in the front loops only in my next stitch. Followed by a single crochet in the front loop only in my next 4 stitches. Followed by 2 half double crochet worked in the front loop only in my next stitch. And a chain 1. I'll be repeating this pattern around. The pattern is 2 half double crochet worked in the front loop only in my next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the front loop only in my next 4 stitches. And 2 half double crochet worked in the front loop only in my next stitch followed by chain 1. I'll repeat this pattern two more times. And I will join at the top of the first half double crochet with a slip stitch to finish my round 5. So there we have formed the back cloth. Now let's work on the halter. For the halter I will do a slip stitch in the next 3 stitches. Followed by chain 12. And I'm gonna finish off over here leaving a long tail. Next, I'm going to attach the same gold yarn in my same stitch and do another chain 12 and finish off over here leaving a long tail. So there we have completed our back cloth with the halter. Here are all the finished pieces. I have the back cloth with the halter, full legs, head and body for the camel. Now let's see how to assemble them. First, I'm going to take the head and I'm going to take the body. I'm going to thread the long tail from the body with a yarn needle. Position the head in place like this and sew it up. Make sure not to pinch the neck at this time. Make sure to keep it round while sewing it up so that we have a beautiful finish. The next step is to attach the back cloth on top of the hump. So I'm taking the cloth will place it on top of the bump make sure the halter is near the head and then we can sew it up I'm using the back loops from the back cloth to attach while sewing I'll meet you once when I attach this the next step is to embroider the halter details on the face for that I'm taking one of the long tail from one of the pieces and I'm gonna thread it in a yarn needle and I'm gonna insert it between rounds four and five on one side of the face so next now I'm gonna go around so it's on the other side as well between round four and five I'm gonna come around the face and I'll be inserting it in the same spot can weave the tail in now I'm going to use the other end of the tail and embroider the details for the bottom of the face so there we have embroidered the details on the face now we can weave these two tail in the next step is to attach these four legs on the bottom of our camel 
so i'm gonna position it like this and attach it i'll meet you once when i attach all four legs here i have attached all four legs the next step is to attach the tail for that i'm taking four pieces of the same yarn i'm gonna fold it in half and attach it at the back center like i'm attaching a tassel this is the yarn from the legs after i'm weaving it in i'm gonna leave it in here so to add more bulkiness to the tail Now we can trim it off. So there we have attached the tail. The next step is to attach tassels onto the back cloth. I'm using this yarn color over here and I'm gonna attach tassels on the chain one space on all four corners. So this is our finished camel. I hope you'd enjoy crocheting this along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.